Good afternoon, everyone. My talk today is on a new kind of camera that allows us to autofocus different pixels to different depth. A camera lens is designed to focus a single depth onto the sensor. The focal plane can be adjusted. However, most cameras today can only focus one depth at a time. In practice, when we focus on a background, the car blurs. Focusing on a car, the background blurs. Our work challenges this convention. Would it be possible to independently control the focus for different regions on the sensor, and even simultaneously pushing beyond just simple squares shown here? To the extent, can we be no longer confined to a single focal plane? but instead bring the entire sensor to focus onto an arbitrary surface. Introducing spatially varying autofocus, a technique that allows us a focal surface that can dynamically adapt to any three-dimensional three -dimensional structure of the scene. When capturing through the proposed camera, we obtain a single optical capture where everything is in focus. For the first time, we can autofocus every object, every pixel, all at once. Achieving this requires two key innovations. A new computational lens that offers a camera spatially varying focusing capabilities, and the autofocusing algorithms that we use to drive our lens. Our solution starts with an optical design that uses a Lohmann lens, which is a device that allows us to adjust focus uh, by laterally shifting the two cubic faceplates. However, this produces a global change in focus. To enable spatially varying focus control, we create an optical relay that equivalently allows us to adjust focus, but this time with splitting the two components of the Lohmann lens and placing them into different parts of the optical system. Now, by introducing a spatial light modulator in the middle, we can redirect light that passes through it. By changing this tilt angle of the SLM, we effectively translate the cubic faceplates uh, relative to each other. This allows us to control which depth to place the focal plane. Since the sensor and the SLM share a common image plane and they have a pixel-to-pixel -pixel correspondence, for different local area on the sensor, we can choose a local tilt and simultaneously focus different pixels to different depths. Our prototype shown here follows the optical path using a beam splitter. Light enters the objective lens, reflects from the SLM, and hits the sensor. The result is a spatially focused programmable camera that can optically capture an on focus image even when the scene is highly non-planar. Compared to a conventional camera that would blur much of the scene, for any scenes in the wild, when given a depth map, we can program the lens to spatially vary its focus and capture an on focus image. Our method captures with a large aperture. When compared with a small aperture photo, our method maintains the highest possible spatial resolution across the entire field of view whereas a small aperture method would have deep focus blur in extreme depth range areas. However, to capture this photo, we need the depth map uh, that we sent to the SLM to bring every pixel into focus. Therefore, the key challenge here is to obtain the depth map. That leads to the second part of my talk, the spatially varying autofocus algorithms that we use to drive our lens. To start, let's talk about how we evaluate when a point is in focus. Consider this point. It's blurry and has low contrast. We can evaluate how well it's focused by looking at its contrast as a function of depth. If we adjust the focus to other depths, we can find that the contrast would change and it would peak at the physical depth of that point. Different points in the scene, they're going to uh, have different peak contrast at different depth. Since our lens allows us to independently choose focus for each point, 
across the sensor. The remaining problem here is to efficiently identify for each point the focus setting that would maximize the contrast. A naive strategy here is to exhaustively search over the entire depth range to find a point with maximum contrast. This approach is similar to focus stacking uh, and, it, and is extremely slow, requiring a large number of images. Now, different from a conventional camera that would have to change focus continuously, our technique, or our prototype, allows us to change focus in a discrete way. So with this capability, can we do this more efficiently? We propose a more efficient strategy, spatially varying contrast detection autofocus, or CDAF, uh, based on the observation that the contrast profile with depth is often unimodal. For such curves, we can use a version of binary search to progressively reduce the search range or depth range to where the maximum contrast would lie. We start with no knowledge where this point of maximum contrast is, and hence the search will be over the entire uh, focus range of the camera. We sample three equally spaced focus settings over the entire focus range and identify the location with maximum contrast among the three. Since unimodality guarantees that the true max contrast location will lie in the interval that excludes the other uh, two lower ones, we can reduce the search range by half. And a peak contrast location would become the center for the next step. Given this reduced search range, we can repeat the technique of capturing three equally spaced focus images and picking the maximum among the three Repeating this process of capturing three images and selecting the maximum allows us to rapidly reduce the search range in just a few iterations and eventually converge to the best focus setting uh, using a, a number of images that is logarithmic compared to exhaustive search. Now we can apply the search strategy in parallel uh, with each pixel choosing their own independent path to identify the specific focus location at which the peak contrast is achieved. Since contrast has to be computed over a local area, we use superpixels. We superpixel the image and compute the contrast within each superpixel. Superpixels are also useful when it comes to depth edges, which oftentimes would overlap with texture edges. CDAF requires a sequence of images to search for the best depth map. And as a result, this requires a camera to operate at high FPS. Can we estimate depth without searching? Face detection autofocus, or PDAF, allows exactly that. And it enables video streaming for dynamic scenes as well. It computes depth directly from images captured using a dual pixel sensor. A dual pixel sensor captures a pair of images like this. That provides a knowledge of depth. The image pair provides signed disparity that tells us both the direction and magnitude for focusing. This technique computes the true depth without any searching. With only a single capture, we can estimate the depth, compute the depth, and focus all pixels instantaneously at the second capture. The broader point I would like to make here is that all autofocus techniques can be readapted to our spatially varying framework. Both of our autofocus techniques work across a variety of scenes. A model ship where the front is an extreme defocus. PDAF resolves the focusing everywhere while outputting a depth map. And CDAF does the same while the focus map is noisier due to textureless regions. Fabrics placed at different depth. PDAF. CDAF. We can also compare side by side our autofocus results with one that is captured using optical focus stacking, where we capture a stack of images using different focus settings and compute the depth map that we eventually use to drive the focusing of our lens and capture an on-focus image. 
We can observe across these scenes that our methods match the image quality of focus stacking uh, while without requiring capture, capturing many images. Since PDAF only requires a single image to compute focus, we show a proof of concept prototype that enables video streaming for dynamic scenes as well. It can perform spatially varying PDAF at 21 FPS. We showed this demo earlier this week at ICCV as well. An additional feature of our technique is to perform a free form depth of field photography. In this example, if we want to remove the thin structures and keep only Luffy in the front and a background behind it, we can intentionally focus those regions where the wire mesh is located to a very far depth so that they become defocused and nearly invisible. We also provide both qualitative and quantitative analysis uh, of spatial resolution of our technique to other methods. We plot contrast as a function of spatial resolution, or the MTF curves, um, and we can observe that our methods match the performance of focus stacking while consistently outperforming focal sweep that are colored in purple and pink here. There are three key limitations of our technique. The current prototype is light inefficient. However, we believe that there are alternative optical designs that can improve light throughput. Our system is designed for green light, uh, resulting in a slight chromatic focal shift for blue and red light. There's also a haze from the DC image due to the limitations of the SLM, which we believe can be computationally removed. To conclude, for the first time, cameras can autofocus different pixels to different depths at the same time. We believe that this novel approach to imaging has widespread applications to areas where focusing is of paramount importance, such as autonomous driving and microscopy. I would like to thank my amazing advisors, Matt, sitting down there, and Ashrin. Uh, this work would not have been possible without them. Thank you very much for your time. Please visit our website for more information. You can scan a QR code here. And please come by our uh, poster booth at 74 in Exhibition Hall 1 this afternoon. Thank you.